Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a wee um, variation on a salmon fly called the Dirt Destroyer. Now, the first I heard about the wee fly was through social media, on Facebook. And then I checked it out sort of way on the on the YouTube. Now, this is a fly from a gentleman called Ryan Houston, who is a very good fly tire. Now, I've just been sort of way messing around with the pattern. It's just a slight variant on it. Um, colour combination just sort of way remains the same. I just want to show you the wee fly. So the hook in the vase is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double in black nickel. The thread I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in far orange. So I'm just going to come in, get our thread started, a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook, run on a few mil of thread and remove the waist tag. Now for the tag and the rib, I'm going to use an ultra wire, UTC ultra wire in bright red. So I'm just going to take a length of this off. Right, I like to tie the wire in underneath the shank of the hook, a couple of turns. Then you can bring your wire in underneath the shank. And then simply just run your thread down, tying this in. Right, I'm just going to bring my thread down. Once I let it go, it should be near enough in line with the point of the hook. And then I'm going to come around with five turns of the red wire, creating my tag. And on my last turn, bring it up and in between the two hooks. Then just come around with a turn to catch that in there. I'm just going to keep the wire in underneath and run my thread up. And I'm going to fold this back from a rib. And then just run your thread back down, tying that in. Now, that makes for a really strong tag and rib on the fly. And as you can see, so let me zoom in, I'll show you it. That's it folded in underneath. Now, the tail on the wee fly is going to be red bucktail. Just red bucktail, so just get a wee pinch of the, the red bucktail off. Now you don't have to stack it, you can just lash it on the way that you cut it off. Just don't want to see any broken ends of the bucktail, just doesn't look great. I'm going to line it up the best I can there. Now the tail, you can have the tail as long or short as you like, it's up to you. I'm just going to have mine run about a length and a half. The two lengths, the hook over the back. Then I'm going to come in and trim the excess and a bit of a tapered cut. I'm going to put some flesh into the tail. And I'm just going to use two strands of the UV micro flash. Now, if you don't like flash, don't put it in. Turn, it turns the hole, and it's going to come back up over the top of the flash to secure it in. Come in and remove the excess. Now, and just moisten these and leave them on my desk for the wing. The body is going to be a large silver holographic tinsel. That one there. This is just the vineyards. Holographic tinsel. I'm just going to come in, catch that in, and then just proceed to run my thread up, tying in the cut ends of the bucktail and the holographic tinsel. Then we can bring up our holographic tinsel for our body. Just want to get a nice clean turn going at the back, and then I always like to check it. Make sure that I'm square onto it. And then just one turn overlapping the other of the holographic tinsel to create your body. And we'll just come in and remove the excess. And we can bring up a rib. And you can four turns of the red ultra wire up the body. 
There's plenty up to there. Follow your room with your thread. And then a couple of turns to secure. Now keeping your thread tight, just bend and rig away the wire. Or if you've got designated scissors, scissors, sorry, you can cut it away. Just want to come in or be a bit closer. There we go. Now the wing. What I'm going to use is this is just a Arctic foxtail that has been dyed sunburst, but it's more towards the yellow side. So just looking a small pinch that'll suit the fly. Turn that away. Right, I'm just going to take out some of the the guard hers. Don't like to see all those in. That's just my own personal preference. Now, I want the wing that we're coming around about halfway into the tail. Just going to hold it on the hook. Come around with a pinching loop. A couple of tight turns to secure. Now, just want to see what way I'm sitting. Okay, I just like to spread the her out across the shank of the hook. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the, the excess. Then I can get another two strands of her that we used earlier on for the tail. Of our UV micro flash for our wing. Tie this in, fold it back. turns up over the top. I don't want it all in. So I'm just going to come in and take out those longer bits and then I want to trim this much to the length of the, the wing. Now the next haggle. Next is a haggle and the first haggle this is a, just a Chinese cock cape that has been dyed fluorescent yellow so it'll be bright vibrant colour now, just come in stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip offer this up to the fly come in with a couple of turns to hold fold back the tip just take your thread turns back up over the tip on the haggle then you can come in locate the tip and break that away come in with your scissors and just stroke back the fibers just helps it to sit back for you and then you can do one turn in front of the other now the turns are on the fly are entirely up to you it's the way you like to dress your flies and it's going to put one more on that's going to look plenty for me there just follow this round with your thread the turn in the hole a couple of turns to secure in the, the haggle. Then you can come in and trim away the excess. I'm just going to put a wee bit of thread down at the front for the next two materials. So next, I'm going to put on some jungle cock. Now, jungle cock's more for the angler's eyes than it is for the fly. It is required in the wee pattern. That's the way the, the original pattern was tied. So. Just two wee eyes here. Just gonna stroke back all the fluff at the bottom. Just gonna offer them up to the hook. And then come round. Just hold them on to the, the hook. And these are just loose turns. Just so we get them sitting the way we like. And to the same length. So just wanna check. Okay, just this wee one here. Yep, happy enough for that. So, just going to hold them and just tighten up. Now, I want to fold these back, the stems. So, just going to fold these stems back and then just bring your thread up over the top of the, the stems of the jungle cock. Keeping your thread tight, come in and Break away the, 
the stems. Have a wee favour there of the yellow just going forward. Just get that to sit back for us. Yeah, we're not looking too bad. Last part of the fly, I'm just going to use a red badger haggle. This is just an old cape that I've had from Pussy was a kitten and I died it myself ages ago. So just looking to add a wee bit of colour in at the head now. So just stroke the fibres back to reveal the tip. Around with a couple of turns of the hole, going to fold back the tip. Bring my thread turns back up over the tip and the haggle, just like I did with the the yellow haggle. Just going to run the scissors up the stem of the haggle, then just one turn in front of the other. Now, I have to say, Brian has come up with an absolutely cracking pattern here. I faced the dirt myself and genuinely can't wait to run this down a couple of pools because it's got the crack colour combination for that type of river with the peaty water. Now keep a hold of your stem of your haggle. Just going to follow it around with my thread. A couple of turns in there just to secure. Now I'm just going to strip away the fibres on the stem. I'm going to fold all this back and then just tie up over the top of the stem of the haggle. Just make sure everything's back. Now I just want a nice bright head, nice fire orange head on it. Nice and tight, keeping your thread tight, come in, break away the stem. Do that and the thread go. Just come in and just do one of a finish. And shape that head up at the same time. Pull the thread tight, come in and trim away your thread. Now, just get a wee look at the fly. Okay, we're looking good. Now, just to finish off, I always like to put a wee drop of super glue just low under the head. You don't want this gear going anywhere else. And then once that dries guys, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal the head up. So there you go guys, that's just a slight variation on the um, Derg Destroyer. Um, like I said, they're absolutely fantastic pattern. Definitely work. So get a few of those in your box or nip over to Ryan Houston's YouTube channel and check out the, his the original version, um, get a few of those in your box and as always many thanks for taking the time to watch the, the video. If you like the content that I'm providing and the, the flies that I'm tying please like and subscribe to the channel and tight lines.